McDaniel. This talk is called Life Advice from the Buddha. Life Advice from the Buddha. I wanted to, sometimes I like to take a teaching that's maybe not very relatable, maybe kind of has difficult language, and kind of bring it down to earth for us. So it's with that in mind that I'm giving this talk. So there's a relatively famous three-line quote from the Buddha that is just life advice. It's just, what should you do? Do these three things, okay? And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So the, the quote is, refrain from evil, do good, subdue the mind thoroughly. Refrain from evil, do good, subdue the mind thoroughly. And there are various uh, translations of that quote, but that is the generally accepted one. It's, it's defined that way. And it's got different names, and I'm not going to go into what it's what it should be called. But just to say, that's a quote from the Buddha, and it strikes me in kind of a negative way because I don't find the language relatable. So, first, um, I was inspired because of that first part, refrain from evil. And I was inspired by that because when I hear the word evil, I think of, like, either, on the one hand, like, something cartoonish and silly, like, like Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, or... If not that, I think of like war crimes or demons or something really awful, right? So I either think of something ridiculous or really awful. And so when I we say refrain from evil, well, that's that's easy. I'm refraining from evil right now, right? I'm refraining from evil all the time. But that's not what's meant here. The Buddha's not giving us the advice to not commit war crimes, although that is good advice. But rather, it's... It is when my kid runs inside the door and shuts the door behind himself right in the face of the other kid. That's not evil. I would never call that evil, right? What is it? It's being a jerk. So instead of refrain from evil, I submit that we should call it don't be a jerk. And full disclosure, I didn't invent that terminology. A Zen teacher named Brad Warner wrote a book called Don't Be a Jerk. But I really like the way he frames that because don't be a jerk is something we can all understand and it makes more sense in that it's more relatable than refrain from evil. And another way this is expressed is don't commit any non-virtuous actions. And that's, I think that's even worse than refrain from evil, right? So I submit that don't be a jerk is a way better way to think about this. If I cut in line in front of someone, I'm being a jerk, right? If I litter, I'm being a jerk. If I don't care about someone's feelings and I just do whatever I want, right? That's being a jerk. You want to not be a jerk. You want to not be a jerk. And the second one is called do good. And I think that might be, the only problem with that one is it might be a little too vague. So I think of, when I think of do good, like I think of, well, we learned that when we were five, right? Be nice people. I think we all we all learned that, and it's just sometimes it's hard to put that into practice. So do good. I think of, uh, and I'm a kind of a music person, so I'm going to reference a song here. But it is there's this song called Try a Little Tenderness by Otis Redding. And when I hear that song and when I listen to the lyrics, I think what I think of is people coming to Otis Redding and asking for relationship advice. You know, somebody comes and he says, hey, my, my, my wife is tired all the time, and really stressed out and then Otis just says well have you tried being nice to her and um so I, I think of that I think of well maybe we could just be nice to each other maybe that would solve our problems right and far be it for me to give relationship advice except to say maybe we should be nice to each other maybe that would be good and it sort of reminds me of and this is only vaguely related but it reminds me of this meme that I saw that is it says my brain I don't know why I feel like shit. My body. Eat a vegetable. My body. Coffee's not food. My body. You need more than three hours of sleep. And then my brain. I guess I'll never know. So, and that is, I like that meme because that is exactly what we do. We know what we need to do. We just don't want to do it. We need to be nice to each other. We need to create harmony in the world. And sometimes we don't do that because we don't want to. But it's not a mystery. It's not that we don't know what to do. And I think in a lot of difficult situations in life, like, we do know what the best choice is. We just 
want to do something else, so we fight with ourselves. I think that comes up a lot. And that applies to our meditation practice too, of course. I want to consistently meditate and get on the cushion, and I know it's good for me, but I don't want to, right? I want to watch Netflix, right? I want to do other things. So that's, and that's the same thing. And I also, and this is the last reference, I promise, but there's this superhero and he's called One Punch Man. And this is a superhero and it's a comic book. And he, his power is he can defeat any enemy by punching them one time and then they're defeated. And so in the comic, people are jealous of him and they're like, how did you get this power? And he says, and this is not going to be exact, but I'm paraphrasing. But he says, I do 100 push-ups every morning. I do 100 sit-ups every morning. I run 10 miles every morning. And I eat a diet that's entirely protein and vegetables. And that's how I did it. And then people are like, well, you won't really tell us. And I like that because that's like, what do I need to do? Well, I know what I need to do. I just don't want to, right? I kind of have a beer belly. And I know what I need to do to manage that and get rid of it. I just don't really want to make enough lifestyle changes to do that. And it's the same thing with being good. So we know to put others before ourselves when we can. We know to clean up our, after ourselves, to volunteer, to try to make the world a better place. And it's just that sometimes we don't want to. So we have to remind ourselves to be good. We have to remind ourselves, oh, am I creating the best harmony in this situation right now or not? And I, so I think that's a very important lesson. Am I creating the best harmony? And then the last one of the uh, part of this quote is subdue the mind thoroughly. And that's what we're doing in our meditation practice. And I, um, for, first of all, I don't like subdue the mind thoroughly. That reminds me of the Bible when it's like forever and ever. Like, I don't think I need it thoroughly, but maybe, maybe I do. But I don't like to think in terms of subduing the mind and think, I don't think of the mind as the enemy and I'm trying to cage it. I think of it as train the mind. Train, some people like to say pacify the mind. And I'm not sure that's much better than subdue. But I like to think of it as train the mind because that's what we're doing. We're learning how to be better at paying attention, how to be more aware of the world around us, how to be mindful, how to be present. Because a lot of the time we're not present, right? We miss things. We, when people say, like, my daughter was just born, it feels like, and now she's starting high school, right? That's because you're sleepwalking through life, and we all sleepwalk through life a lot of the time. If you've ever, like, gotten in your car to go somewhere, and suddenly you're there, and you don't remember the drive, and that's kind of scary, right? It's sort of like that. That's, I call that the daydream. Life is like a daydream sometimes. You miss a lot of things, and also, the worst thing is when you're talking to someone you love or someone you care about a lot and you realize you're not listening because mentally you're somewhere else. I hate that feeling so much. And that's what we're trying, we're trying to learn how to do is pay attention when we want to and notice the world around us and not be just in a haze all the time, missing things, not be impatient and not be lost and confused, right? So, that's what I wanted to say. And again, I'll tell you that quote one more time. It is, refrain from evil, do good, subdue the mind thoroughly. And I have just changed it to, don't be a jerk, be nice, train the mind. So thank you for taking the time to watch this talk. Have a good day.